Have you ever dreamed about moving to seaside Nova Scotia, but you're not sure what area may be best for you? Well, I know there are 13,300 kilometers of coastline to choose from, from dramatic rocky cliffs to sandy white beaches. So I'm gonna go over the seven different areas of Nova Scotia to find the best coastline for you. Nova Scotia's capital city of Halifax is a port city itself. Water traffic includes cruise ships and container ships to tall ships and multi-million dollar yachts. Ocean property in the exclusive neighborhood of the Northwest Arm and around the Halifax Peninsula have some of the most expensive and most desirable homes in all of Nova Scotia due to the ability to moor your own boat right off your back door. The coastline region known as the South Shore is located on the Atlantic Ocean side of the province and extends from Halifax down toward the southern tip of Nova Scotia. There is a dramatic progression of the coastline as you travel south, starting with rocky, jagged shores such as the iconic Peggy's Cove and the hiking trails such as my favourite, Duncan's Cove. St. Margaret's Bay is home to some older but very desirable oceanfront neighborhoods. This is because of the deep water anchorage found here and its proximity to Halifax. Covers is located on the Halifax side of the Aspetagan Peninsula. The peninsula is home to deep coves, fishing villages, and several sand beaches, including Bayswater Beach, home of the Swiss Air Memorial Site. South of the Aspetagan Peninsula, you will come to the sailing waters of Chester and Mahone Bay. Now these are said to be some of the best sailing waters north of Nantucket. Due to the international notoriety of the sailing scene, the oceanfront homes in and around the village of Chester are highly sought after, with some of the most expensive properties per capita found here in the entire province. From Mahone Bay towards Lunenburg, you can enjoy lots of islands and inlets for sailing, sea kayaking, and scuba diving, especially in beautiful Blue Rocks. 
Near Bridgewater and beyond is the Saltwater Lahave River, which is enjoyed by boaters and kayakers alike. The gradual change in the coastline will become most apparent beyond the Lahave, where you will start seeing a greater number of sandy beaches, such as Hurdles, Rissers, Green Bay, Carters, and my personal favorite, Cherry Hill. Property for sale with its own ocean sand beachfront is extremely rare, but in Nova Scotia, there is always one within an hour or two drive. Located at the southernmost tip of Nova Scotia, this coastline is virtually untouched, but dotted by quaint fishing villages with rich Acadian histories. Here you will find dramatic cliffs as well as many inlets and islands. Stunning beaches can be found in the provincial parks of Mavayette and Port Maitland. The Bay of Funday. This body of water flows between Nova Scotia and New Brunswick in and out every six hours, creating the highest rising tides in the world. The coastline ranges from red mud flats of the Minas Basin to the dramatic cliffs with incredible panoramic sunset views. Further south towards the mouth of the Bay of Funday finds the least dramatic cliffs and more rock beaches and fishing communities. Lobsters and scallops are a big commodity along these shores, especially Digby and Digby Neck. Because of the rich sea life, a variety of whales can be seen in these waters, especially if you book a trip on one of the popular tours. When the tide is out, fossil hunters flock to places like Joggins Beach and gem seekers will brave the cliffs to get to Amethyst Cove. The northern shores of Picto and the Northumberland Strait boast the warmest beaches of the whole province at 22 degrees and the warmest waters north of Virginia. Situated opposite Prince Edward Island, the oceanfront beaches of the northern shores share the similar red sandstone. Oceanfront and home prices in this area are relatively more affordable here due to its rural location and distance from Halifax. At the northern tip of Nova Scotia is Cape Breton Island and the world-renowned scenic Cabot Trail. This roadway intertwines the seacoast and mountainous regions of the Cape Breton Highlands National Park, providing some of the most incredible views in the Maritimes. Cape Breton has some of the lowest housing prices in the province due to sparseness and remoteness. There are several stunning sand beaches, including Inverness and Inganish on the eastern side. There is ample amount of coastline to choose from, with numerous bays and waterways, many of which flow into Verdor Lake. The eastern shore runs along the Atlantic coast, north of Halifax towards Cape Breton. It is known for its surf and sand. Kite and board surfing enthusiasts come from across North America to catch these waves even in the coldest parts of the year. Clam Harbor Beach Sandcastle Competition has been an institution for this region for the past 40 years, attracting over 10,000 tourists. Hope you enjoyed my Nova Scotia coastline tour. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for all things Nova Scotia real estate. And if you have any questions about moving to Nova Scotia, please shoot me a message, I'd be happy to help.